Hey guys, Brixen here. Uh, this is my soul lane tactics guide to Varus versus Azir. At level 1, you can stand the side brush, charge up your Q, and get pretty much free harass as well as push if you land the range maintenance as well on Azir. Early, it's important that you're trying to combat his push without taking free damage from the soldiers, or you can walk up and auto attack him as he's trying to push. Azir will pretty much always try to push because he needs his level 2 to be able to trade. He can't just use his soldiers without his Q. So either you go for a lot of early harass, or you can go for um, just poking him using and countering the push using your own spells. Um, at level 2, he can start harassing you back using his Q, but with your E, you can pretty much trade evenly at this point. And remember, if he has Doran's Ring, he'll have 2 potions. If you have Flask, you'll have pretty much the equivalent of 6 potions. So even if you're going even in trades at this point, it's a win for you because you have more sustain overall. At level 3 and 4, the matchup becomes a bit more even. Uh, but you just want to make sure that every single time you're trading you're going even or maybe only slightly behind or slightly ahead in trades because you have more sustain using flask and as you generally start storms ring so if you can trade evenly around this point that's fine for you just get another level in your Q try to harass him back maybe try to outrange him because your Q does have way superior range than his soldiers do level 5 and 6 is where I feel like Varus starts taking the advantage because you have flask so eventually you're going to be able to outstate him in the early game Level 5, you get another level of your Q. Every time you get a level of your Q on Varus, it's huge in terms of damage because it is your main damage spell, it's your main poke spell, and it's what's going to really win you the trades. Uh, at level 6, the lane does become pretty scary, very volatile, because either he can set up a gank on you with the Shurima Shuffle, or you can ult him and set up a gank that way. So at this point, watch out for his jungler. If he's low, you can call for your jungler, and there's a lot of kill potential. With Varus, your main playstyle is definitely to be aggressive, but you have to be aggressive at the right times. You have to use your range, range constantly and outrange him, and that's how you're going to win the lane. You are going to win out the lane if you use your range, you constantly harass him from far away, even out of vision using your arrows. But if you end up going too close, Azir is going to use his superior damage in close range fights to beat you. Um, this holds true for later in the game as well. In team fights, setting up for team fights, sieging, Azir does a lot of damage, but if you never let him get the range, you can consistently outpoke him and outrange him. For runes in this matchup, I like to go Armor Pen Reds, AD Quins, HP Scaling Yellows, and CDR Scaling Blues. Armor Pen Reds and AD Quins just for the max amount of poke that you have throughout the lane. Uh, you're most likely going to be outranging Azir throughout the laning phase, so if you land the poke, uh, you're going to be outtrading him just using your superior range. CDR Scaling Blues is just overall very good on Varus because it allows you to poke more throughout the game, and he's a very cool and reduction reliant champion. HP Scaling is obviously just a very solid yellow rune that will help you throughout the game to be tankier. For Masteries on Varus, I like to go 21-9-0. Um, in the offense tree, I like to go for the attack speed over the cooldown reduction, since with the rune setup and item build, you go 40% cooldown reduction on Varus anyway, and the attack speed is better for the early game laning phase, so I like to go for the attack speed. It also helps you fight against Azir's early push with his soldiers, so he doesn't get level 2 way before you. The extra attack speed definitely helps out that. Other than that, just get as much damage as you can in the offense tree, Bears is just a very damage reliant champion, so of course get as much physical damage as you can. I like 9 defense because Bears is a squishy, immobile poke champion and he's very vulnerable to getting dove onto. Extra health definitely helps out. For Bears versus Azir, I like to start Q at level 1 because you can stand in the side brush in the lane and shoot your Q in the lane as Azir walks in to push. Azir pretty much always tries to push, so he will walk up to the lane and he'll be fairly stationary as he's trying to push with his soldier. Um, at level 2, I like to go E because it helps you trade back, push back a bit. Azir is a very push focused champion, so having these AoE uh, abilities that help you harass as well as push the lane at the same time is very useful. At level 3, I go Q again. It's very bread and butter skill, and the poke helps out a lot. Uh, for maxing, always max Q first for the poke. E helps for disengage and poking as well, and then W last. For the starting item on Varus, I like to go Flask because Azir is. He is a very pokey champion, he harasses you a lot in lane, so having the extra sustain helps out a lot against Azir. Uh, on your first back, you want to be getting tier, just helps out with your mana a lot, and just lets you spam your Q repeatedly. After that, you can go into either Brutalizer for the stronger early game harass, it gives you slightly earlier power spike in terms of poke, or you can go mana mute to help stack up your uh, more mana a lot faster, because Varus doesn't have low cooldown, so he can't keep stacking it up, but getting the mana mute, it lets you stack using your auto attacks as well. Uh, your mid-game core items will be Mana Mune, Brutalizer, Last Whisper, and Cool Reduction Boots because you get 40% CDR, you get a ton of flat AD and armor pen, which is your huge power spike where you can start really grouping up and poking people down. 
For your Lincoln items, you can upgrade your Brutalizer to Yomus and build items like Maul Memorius, Bloodthirster, or something more defensive like Banshees. Thanks for watching the Solo Lane Tactics Guide to Varus vs. Azir. If you want to check out more guys, you can go to lawclass.com.